Now, students, we want to do a simple demonstration to show the experiment which was accidentally done by a professor in physics, Hans Oisted, which he accidentally noted that when he was working with a current carrying conductor, it was having some magnetic properties. With me here, I have the following apparatus. We have the magnetic compass. We have some thick copper wires and a source of current or a source of EMF. With this apparatus, we want to demonstrate what um, the ambient swimming rule is eh? as far as the deflection or the uh, evidence that there is a magnetic field and also we can be able to verify the ambient swimming rule. Now, here we have a source of EMF or a source of current and as you can see, it is uh, not connected. The circuit is not complete. And we want to see when the circuit is uh, open, eh, what happens to the pointer on the compass, on the magnetic compass. Now, uh, as you can see, it is resting. Uh, the, 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 the north of the magnetic compass is re resting towards the north. And I'm going to place my wire. And you can see there is no deflection. There is no deflection. Now, once it is resting on top of the wire, I'm going to complete the circuit on this end. And once I complete the circuit, you are going to observe the deflection of the magnetic pointer. As you can see here, there's a deflection. Let me remove this. It comes back to the, its resting position. Once I cross the circuit, you can see there's a deflection. And using the ambient swimming rule, since current flows through the positive uh, uh, terminal, uh, according to the ambient swimming rule, if you imagine that you are swimming along this wire, the magnetic camber should be able to deflect towards the left. Let's, uh, let's open the circuit. You can see it has gone to, to align itself with the wire. Once I close the circuit, you can be able to see that it's able to deflect towards the left as predicted by the ambient swimming rule. Now, I want to place to open the circuit and place magnetic compass beneath the wire like this. I bring my compass on top of the wire and we see whether there is going to be a change in the deflection of the magnetic compass. Now the switch is uh, the circuit is open. Let's try to close the switch and we see what happens. Ah, you can see it is now deflecting towards the right. That means when you place the magnetic compass on top, it was deflecting towards the left. But now when the wire is from the bottom, we'll try to imagine we are swimming from beneath the magnetic compass. And therefore, if we swim and we are facing the magnetic compass, then you can see that you're going to, um, you're going to, you are swimming um, and you're facing the magnetic compass, you're going to deflect towards the opposite direction. Let me open it. Let me open the switch. You can see it is going back to the original position. Once I close the switch, you can see it is able to deflect, an indication that clearly when current is flowing through this wire, there is a magnetic field and it can be able to deflect in, uh, in different direction depending on whether you have placed it on top of the, of the magnetic compass or below the magnetic compass. Now, just to show that this magnetic compass can be shown by a magnet, we want to bring a magnet close to the magnetic compass and we see the effect which you can be able to get. Now, let's watch closely what happens. Good. You can see when we place the magnet close to the magnetic compass, there is some repulsion and it's able to show a deflection. A similar one, the one which you have seen when you are placing, um, when you are placing, you can be able to see it is able to move because of the force of repulsion and attraction. The same, same effect which you are getting when you are closing the switch. You can see that? When you open the switch, it goes back to the resting position. When you close the switch, it is able to show a deflection. This is a clear indication that a current carrying conductor possesses a magnetic field.